May June 2024, Paper 4, variant 1. Question 1, A part 1. Okay, for this question, uh, better to use um, the equation here uh, for comparison. Uh, delta X solution equal to the delta X hydration minus the latest energy. Okay, please remember the hydration uh, enthalpy is um, exothermic and the latest energy is exothermic also. So first you need to give the trend uh, about the solubility. So we know that uh, when down group 2, the group 2 hydroxide solubility increases. Means if you want to put this trend, uh, the most soluble is a strontium hydroxide and uh, followed by calcium hydroxide. After that, uh, least soluble is uh, magnesium hydroxide. Okay, then you try to explain this one uh, using the uh, uh, these uh, three enthalpies. Okay, so first uh, we know that when down the group, uh, the size of this uh, cation is uh, getting uh, larger, so the ionic radius is larger. And for this one, you need to uh, first start with the ladies' energy and the hydrations enthalpy. Okay, so uh, as I told you just now, both uh, enthalpy they are exo, and uh, when down the group, we know that. The size of the uh, cation is getting larger, means uh, the attractions between the uh, cations and anion is actually uh, weaker. So therefore, if you uh, release less heat, so means um, for the latest energy um, when down the group, the latest energy actually will become uh, smaller, means uh, it will decreases. Uh, in another way, we say that the latest energy is become less exothermic because the cation now is getting larger down the group and therefore the uh, latest energy is less exo, release lesser energy. Okay, so this is the first thing about latest energy. And of course, you need to know the hydration enthalpy also decreased. So hydration enthalpy is actually the gases ions that dissolve in water. Means the um, these uh, magnesium, calcium, strontium, all these gases ion dissolve in water, it will release uh, the energy. It's exothermic. But we know that uh, when we compare this latest energy and hydration enthalpy, the latest energy now is affected more by the uh, cations, the size. So because now these cations uh, is, has a greater uh, contribution about the latest energy. Okay, because the size of hydroxide is uh, not really that large, so therefore, when uh, it's formed an uh, ionic lattice, so the size of cation is a uh, is, uh, uh, main or is a uh, great contributor. That's why when the size of this cation is getting larger, so it will, uh, it will let the latest energy decrease more. Okay, that's why the second point you need to mention is the latest energy change more or is actually decrease more, means it becomes uh, less exothermic. Okay. After that, you need to combine uh, these uh, these two statement uh, using the this equation. Okay. So si since we know that uh, when down the group, uh, this uh, group two hydroxide, the latest energy is decreased more. Means this value, this value is actually become lesser, smaller, smaller. So means now the hydration enthalpy which de decreased lesser. It means more exo minus the uh, the values here, which is a smaller value, means minus a negative value, which is smaller, means later it's going to plus a smaller value. So therefore, we know that when we sum up this hydration enthalpy and the latest energy, the delta X solution later is become more exo. So means. The delta X solution of the strontium hydroxide is more exo than the um, this uh, magnesium hydroxide.
because of this uh, reason. Right. Okay. Again, this drawing is actually just uh, 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 just to let you know how is uh, uh, what you call form uh, how is attracts and form bonding. It's actually one um, cation with two uh, hydroxide. So I just put one hydroxide here. It just to compare the size only, the change of the size, which affects the lady's energy. So for part two, um, so suggest the variation in the pH of the saturated solution of hydroxide of this um, magnesium, calcium, and strontium. Okay, so we know that uh, solubility of strontium hydroxide is greater. So therefore, strontium hydroxide will produce more hydroxide. When the hydroxide is more, means pH is higher. Right? Uh, that, that's the one you need to explain. Huh? So we know that when down the group, this group 2 hydroxide pH increases because the concentration of hydroxide is now more. Means uh, among these three, the concentration of uh, this uh, strontium hydroxide, the hydroxide in strontium hydroxide is greatest. Okay, part B. Um, so this one is uh, to calculate the mass of barium hydroxide that required. Um, so let's start with the um, this statement. Uh, when 250 cm cube solutions of barium hydroxide uh, with a pH 12.2 is uh, made to dissolve uh, by dissolving the barium hydroxide in the distilled water. Okay, so uh, the, the starting point is, uh, of course, to find out the uh, concentration of uh, hydrogen ion. This is the first step. Okay, use the pH here to find out the concentration of hydro, uh, the hydronium ion, uh, the, uh, this uh, uh, hydrogen ion, sorry, hydrogen ion. Okay, so first, okay, you need to use the pH okay, equal to negative log concentration of H+. Plus. The hydrogen ion okay so therefore we get negative log concentration of hydrogen ion equal to 12.2 okay then therefore the concentration of hydrogen ion now is 6.31 times 10 to negative 13 okay once you get this concentration of the hydrogen ion then you can use the kw expression to get the concentration of hydroxide that, that's the key that you must uh, uh, use for the calculation. So you can use the uh, KW now to get the concentration of hydroxide. You just need to use the KW constant over the concentration of hydrogen ions that obtained just now. Okay, then you can get uh, 0 0.01585 mole per dm cube uh, of this uh, hydroxide concentration. Okay, after that, you can uh, get the moles of hydroxide in the solution. So because the volume is already given, and now the concentration is, is calculated, therefore we just need to use the MV over 1000, right? the concentration, which is uh, the one that calculated just now, times 250 over 1000, means it's actually 0.25 dm cube. Okay, then you can get the moles of hydroxide in the solution. So 3.9625 uh, times uh, 10 to the power of negative 3. Uh, but one thing that you have to uh, be careful is, uh, is asking the mass of the barium hydroxide that needed. Means you need to use the most of hydroxide to get the most of barium hydroxide. Because we know that one mole of the barium hydroxide will form two moles of hydroxide. Therefore, if we get the most of hydroxide, the most of barium hydroxide must be halved. So the most of barium hydroxide now is 1.9813 times 10 power negative 3. Okay, after that, use this mole to get the mass that required. Okay, because we know that mole equal to the mass over the molar mass, isn't it? Okay, therefore, we can use the most that obtained here times the molar mass. 171.3, which is given in the question. Okay, then you can get 0 0.339 gram. Part C. 
the solubility of iron 2 hydroxide is uh, 5.85 times 10 point eight six mole per dm cube at uh, 298 Kelvin. Write the expressions for the solubility products, the Ksp, of this iron 2 hydroxide. Very easy. Um, you just need to, if you are not sure how to form this Ksp, first you start with this uh, equation. Uh, iron 2 hydroxide will dissociate or partially dissociate uh, to form the iron 2 uh, and this uh, hydroxide. So it's two moles of hydroxide here. Therefore, we need to put this uh, the concentration of iron 2 and concentration of hydroxide into the Ksp. So therefore, Ksp is equal to the concentration of iron 2 times the concentration of hydroxide squared. Okay, make sure you put here the square. The coefficient is 2. So the this one is a concentration of hydroxide square. Okay, therefore, calculate the uh, value of Ksp for this iron 2 hydroxide. Very easy. Uh, just need to use the solubility that given just now, uh, which is this value. Because the solubility of this salt is, uh, it can represent the concentration of the ion, especially the concentration of the cation. Because they are one, uh, means if let's say X mole of this one dissociate this salt, so it will form X mole of the ion 2 and 2 X mole of the hydroxide. Okay. So therefore, we can substitute the concentration or the solubilities that are given, right? So which is 5.85 times 10.86, okay, then times the concentration of hydroxide here, which is 2 times of the 5 times uh, 85 times 10.86, so it's square. Okay, then you get this value, 8.01 times 10.86. Okay, remember, it's us units. So unit is very, very easy. So it's actually mole per dm cube cube. So therefore, you get mole cube times uh, the dm power negative 9. Okay, this is a unit. Okay, that's all. Thank you.